This is huge for the Toronto Maple Leafs as forward Nick Robertson signs on a one-year deal. Max Pacioretty is set to join the team on a PTO going into training camp and there is a trade that's going to happen in Toronto very soon. We're going to get into this and more later on in this episode. Before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone that is subscribed. To anyone that's not, it's completely free. If you want to go down and join the Hattrick HQ community, you can go down and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. Like I said, you can keep up to date with everything to do around the NHL. But with that, let's hop straight into the first topic today, which is Nick Robertson signs. Now, obviously, with Nick Robertson, there's so much floating around about him. This entire offseason, it felt like it was an eight-year span, but we do see Nick Robertson sign a one-year deal with the Toronto Maple Leafs. We see this via their Twitter or whatever you want to call it nowadays, but they did go out and sign him to a one-year 875k. And the biggest thing about this contract is Nick Robertson is still an RFA at the end of this deal. If the Toronto Maple Leafs do keep on the Nick Robertson, which we will touch on in a little bit, they will have him as a RFA going into next offseason as well. Now, when you do look at Robertson, Robertson had a semi-productive season with the Leafs in 56 games. Games, 14 goals, 13 assists for 27 points. Just the age at 22, almost 23 years old, Nick Robertson hasn't been able to crack this lineup fully. We've seen Sheldon Keefe kind of lose trust in him. Sheldon Keefe didn't use him to his full potential, and you can really see that with the fact that Nick Robertson played under 11 minutes and 30 seconds time on ice last season. He was a plus four with 96 shots, 18 giveaways, and 28 takeaways. Now, Nick Robertson is a guy that could go into next season and score you 20 goals, 25 goals, and he could hit the 30-goal plateau depending on where he plays within this lineup. This is the lineup that needs a third-line left wing. I know Max Pacioretty is a name that we will talk about shortly, but Nick Robertson would be set to have a breakout season with the Leafs. He may play on the first line. He could play on the second line or most likely play on the third. Now, it doesn't stop here with the Nick Robertson rumors as we see Frank Chiavelli come out and say, Despite new contract, belief is Nick Robertson still more likely to be traded than open the season with the Leafs. There's still solid interest in Robertson, and it's always easier to trade an asset under contract as opposed to an RFA, which helped him sign. Now, the biggest thing with Nick Robertson, the biggest thing with the Leafs, they do have his rights. They do have him sign, so they do have the cards in this with Nick Robertson. Nick Robertson could come in and play this third line left wing. He could come in and play the second line left wing, depending on where Bobby McMahon plays. But it does get quite complicated with the fact the Leafs are in on Max Pacioretty. Per Frank Cervelli, once again, while Leafs work through some salary cap issues, there is an expectation from both sides that Pacioretty will be a Maple Leaf this season. Now, the biggest thing with Pacioretty coming in, he had a bit of a down year with the Washington Capitals, and now it seems like the Leafs went from not having that third line left wing to having a crowded space. When you do look at Max Pacioretty in 47 games, 4 goals, 19 assists for 23 points, 95 shots, 16 giveaways, 14 takeaways, a minus four, playing just under 15 minutes. Max Petrady did come off with surgery before joining the Capitals. You can see him on the Capitals being 35 years old, but Max Petrady does have a lot to give. This is a guy that was a former 30 goal scorer, a guy that's been around the league, a guy that at 35 has value to this team, a guy that can show the young guys how to play. He's been in playoff series. It's, he hasn't won, but he has been around long enough to let this team know what it takes to win in the Stanley Cup Finals and to what it takes to win in the playoffs, I should really say. What were you guys' thoughts on Nick Robertson signing? What's your thoughts on Max Pacioretty coming in on a PTO and seem to be set to sign with the Toronto Maple Leafs team going into training camp but it goes straight into the second topic today which is there's a leaf trade imminent now the biggest thing like i said the leaf signed two left wings nick robertson and patch ready is set to join this team when you're looking at this leaf's cap space there's not a lot of room Projected cap space going into the season is 400,000. Current cap space, 400,000. You can kind of pause. You can look through this. They have 22 of 23 active roster spots filled. They have 44 of 50 contract spots, and they do have three remaining uh, retention spots. Now, the biggest thing with the Leafs is Patrick not going to sign, nor can he sign for 400,000. With Nick Robertson coming in just under 900,000, this does help with, the, help with the cap space. You do get a winger. You get a guy that can play within the system, a guy that has played within the the system he scored nearly 15 goals with the Leafs last year but the biggest problem is there has to be space made for the Leafs to be able to go out and get someone like Max Pacioretty 
Now, when you do look at the Leafs lines currently, this is from Daily Faceoff. This is not what I'm saying the Leafs will put out, but I will slowly go through it. The first line, Matthew Nyes, Austin Matthews, and Mitch Marner. I do think this is going to be set on what the Leafs will run going into next season as the top line. We see Mitch and Matthews work for the most part, and we see Matthew Nyes kind of take over towards the end of the season. So I do think this will stay as a top line. Bob McMahon, John Tavares, and William Nylander. I do like what the what Bobby McMahon brought to the team last year. We've seen Tavares and Nylander work, so I'm fine with this line as well, unless a guy like Nick Robertson fills out the top six. Pontus Holmberg, Max Domi, and Callie Yarncroke. This is where I think the final spot between Max Pacioretty and Nick Robertson will fight to fill out this line. Then you have the fourth line of Connor Dewar, David Kemp, and Ryan Reeves. Obviously, this Leafs team needs goal scoring. Max Domi in the bottom six, and I should say they need goal scoring in the bottom six, but Max Domi, Kelly Yarncroke, and a guy like Pontus Holmberg haven't been elite goal scorers. Yes, a guy like Max Domi can go out and set up a lot of his goals with his playmaking, but Kelly Yarncroke hasn't scored over 25 or 30 goals in his NHL career, and Pontus Holmberg is still a young guy that has yet to make his breakout in this league the fourth line is more of a defensive line more of a shutdown with ryan reeves being there to just be a pest and lay the body but i do think a trade's coming the leafs need to make a move to bring in a guy like patch ready so maybe this is a guy like pontus holmberg being sent down maybe a guy like cal yarncrook who i hope they do not trade i think is a versatile winger that can bring a lot to this team defensively and still score you goals where he has potted 20 just two seasons ago. When you look at this bottom six, when you look at the fourth line, I think it's going to be a guy like David Kempf being moved out on this team. I think Pontus Holmberg or Connor Dewar can shift over to play that fourth line center spot. You still have guys like Easton Cowan fighting to make this team. I think with this lack of goals who are in the bottom six, it's between a guy like David Kemp, maybe a guy like Callie Aaron Croak. You might see a Nick Robertson trade if he still wants to leave this organization. And you have a guy like Connor Timmons that could be moved on as Yanni Hockenpah still has not signed with this team. And we don't know what's happening about that either. What would you guys' thoughts on just everyone in this uh, lineup? What's your guys' thoughts on the forwards? What forwards would you like to see moved out? Is it a guy like Nick Robertson? Is it a guy like David Kemp? Is it a guy like Kelly Aaron Croak? Or would you rather just see a guy like Connor Timmons be moved out to free up cap space to bring on Patch Ready? Let us know down in the comments and while you're down there. And speaking of comments, comment of the day. Comment of the day comes from user VW7EJ7TF1. I don't know why I read it all, but shout out to you. Nick Robson will help the Leafs win a Stanley Cup and he will start scoring a lot more goals and this upcoming season. Go Leafs, go. And I do think we're going to see a Nick Robertson breakout. The scariest part is it might not be with the Toronto Maple Leafs, depending on how the reports go and depending on what Nick Robertson wants. What would you guys' thoughts on everything we talked about? What's your thoughts about the Robertson signing? What's your thoughts about Max Pacioretty? And who would you trade on this team to bring in more pieces? Let me know down in the comments and you could be featured on Comments of the Day while you're down there. Leave in a comment. Way down there, leave a like, subscribe, share this with your friends. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode, so keep your eyes out. But I've been your host, Mark Pye, and take care.